Okay, years ago I put up a video, and probably was most people were saying I faked the results, but you can do this yourself. It was known as the paperclip and the magnet experiment. And as you can see, I can wave my hands through here, and the paperclip does not fall. Okay? The paperclip is being held back on a thread. Okay? Otherwise, the paperclip would go all the way up to this one inch by one inch round neodymium N52 strength magnet. All right? So the premise behind my stators was shielded. And I want to show you how effective it can be doing a very simple old-fashioned high school experiment. This experiment goes all the way back to like 1972, 71 when I was in high school. All right? So it's nothing new here. But I just simply applied this a little differently to create... Uh, my stator. So watch this. Here's the shield that I use, and I'm just going to interpose it between these two. Watch what happens with the paper clip. Get this just right. Okay, here we go. See? The magnetic field is shut down more than enough where this paper clip can no longer stay up. One more time. Get it stay up. There we go. All right. You can just try this yourself. You'll see this is a very legitimate experiment. Okay, I'm going to bring it in here. All right. So as you can see, if we had triple layer, which is what I do, I do three layers with a quarter inch gap in between each layer. What happens is the shield becomes just incredibly effective, which is what my stators is designed around. All right, that's it for the magnet and paperclip experiment.